Uh, we do definitely see um, the potential for some more uh, M&A activity. Uh, if we look at the energy um, part of the market, we're expecting um, potentially something to come through with Santos uh, and Woodside over the next four to six weeks as, uh, as the deal teams come back from holiday and, and they work, uh, work through that. We do expect a little bit more um, activity probably within that um, lithium space as well. There's, there's um, risk that added, um, added uh, M&A activity comes through there um, based on um, what we've seen with um, the Azure deal um, and um, you know, uh, the, like of, the likes of that. So yeah, we, we expect some more to, cut, to come through in that lithium and, um, and that, lithium and that uh, energy space at the moment and then more, more broadly um, can see if the markets reopen up for M&A activity, um, definitely we could see um, more activity more broadly uh, and, and that could flow through uh, to benefit the likes of Macquarie Group um, where we could see that sort of investment banking activity start to pick up um, and capital Jason. markets activity pick up. Jason, I always have something real quick I've got to ask you because I was, I was away when that Woodside Santos deal was potentially announced or being touted. I hope you missed me, Tony, while I was gone. But do you, do you honestly believe that the Australian government's going to let that happen? Obviously, there'd have to be some divestiture of assets, but to have just one oil major that basically sets or dictates when it comes to gas in Australia and the, the heft that they would have with any kind of negotiations moving forward, do you feel they're going to allow that to happen? I certainly think, um, I mean, that, that's a complexity that, that, that Woodside and Santos will need to work through as they go through the process. Uh, there'll be asset, there would likely be some overlap and, uh, and some concern probably on the West Coast and, and some on the East Coast as well in terms of domestic gas. In terms of the um, export uh, of gas and LNG, I think, I think that's going to be less contentious, just given the fact that they're, you know, they're a, a, a major, they'll be a major player in a, in a major, large global market um, selling their, their gas into. So I don't necessarily think that's going to be as much of, a, uh, of an issue, but certainly domestic gas um, and then how they um, shape that. Both, both um, companies at the moment, though, working through uh, environmental permitting um, to get their projects up and running as well. And we think there's actually um, certainly some synergies from the two companies coming together. Uh, and it would uh, be, be beneficial, for, likely, for most of both um, sets of shareholders as well. So we actually think it would be, um, it makes a lot of sense um, if, if the price is right, um, a deal to get struck and done uh, there. RFA.